Well, I've got a, another interesting adventure planned for today, but this weather has made it a whole lot worse or a whole, whole lot more difficult. So trying to get my charcoal going right now. I've got a, oh, a three pound elk roast that I need to get in the smoker pretty quick. I want to kind of cold smoke it for about four hours before I take it with us on the adventure. So um, not much snow last night, about four or five inches, but it was all uh, completely snow drifted into the outbuildings. My, my place is a mess right now and it's a little bit harder to function, but I'm used to it. Just catches you off guard from time to time. So as soon as I can get this charcoal going, which is becoming a bitch with this wind, uh, let's see here, probably four or five hours last night we had sustained uh, 20 mile an hour winds with probably 40 mile an hour gusts and it just and it's hadn't even got up to 10 degrees yet so it was probably about a low of seven last night and I think we're at nine now so I've got a, a lot of shit to do to get ready to go on this adventure including getting that roast on the smoker and I've got to head over to the woodshed here shortly and I've got to get my pear wood cut up I'll take you over there with me here for oh five minutes at a time i'm guessing wind chill minus 10 that gotta, gotta be what it is anyway so what i got going on uh i gotta get this big old chunk of pear wood cut up this is probably oh seven inches in diameter and i harvested this tree about three years ago been seasoning ever since this will be the first time that i smoke with a pear i've been using apple for a lot of years now and normally what I would do is use a handsaw. Reason being is I don't want to use a chainsaw because then I'll get oil, uh, bar oil on my smoking wood. Not a big fan of that. But this is too big and it's too cold. I'd sit out here for half an hour trying to get one chunk off of this. So I've got my trusty saws all here that just so happens to be electric. electric. So I've got to fire up the generator. So when I first moved up here, my first year, my generator was all the way over here about 60 feet from the cabin. And it was a pull start. People would ask me, how cold was it last night? I'd say, 27 pulls. That's what it took to get the generator started. Uh, obviously, I've already warmed this one up. This is the only manual generator I've got left. The other one are electric start or remote start. I already warmed it up, and it was about 18 or 19 pulls just to get this thing to fire the first time. So I'm going to cut up this apple wood, and then I'll talk about what we're going to do today. Should start first pull. cold when your beer with ice cubes forming in it after being out here for five minutes. wood there so uh, along with the fact I don't want to get bar oil on my smoking wood I also don't want to get paint off of a normal uh, sawzall blade so I bought these specialty pruner blades that are eight inches so I can get through the majority of the stuff that I've got even if I've got to go from both sides I've got some uh, pear wood that's even bigger than this in diameter so I've got the specialty blade here it's got no paint on it they're a little bit pricey but it's well worth it to keep the crap out of my smoking wood this is what the top of my beer looks like right now. Probably my mustache in no time, but it's complete slush. And I got this rim of ice and the last drink I took, it just stuck to my mustache. So I'd say it's cold. Well, we're right at the point now where the nose hairs are starting to freeze my mustache. It's uh. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but obviously fruit wood is extremely hard wood. That's why it took so long to get through it with that expensive pruning blade. 
Uh, now I gotta split it. I split it to about, oh, this will probably be in six pieces and that'll help me sustain smoking. Uh, unfortunately, I'm fighting the charcoal still, so I'm gonna have to get a big fire going out here to get that going. Uh, so. Actually, I think I'm gonna go more like eight pieces. This stuff's beautiful inside. I have to assume that the pear wood is gonna have the same qualities as the apple as far as the sweetness goes. Okay, so let's see if I can find a pretty piece. Whoop, going down. Stuff just gorgeous on the inside, and the flavor's unreal. Yeah, you can smell it. Well, I'm making a little bit of progress here. I had to cheat a little bit. Uh, having a hell of a time getting the fire going out here on the ground uh, with the wind, and it's just cold. So I took my propane burner here, and I'm trying to get this charcoal going, and I'm making progress, but I've been fighting it for the past 15, 20 minutes. Uh, even these propane regulators start to act weird in this cold. I give this bottle a little bit of a shake and my flame picks up. I had to put this Rubbermaid thing here to try to block the wind. Of course now it's coming from this way so I'm fighting it. This flame is very unpredictable so this is taking a ton of time. I'm not going to videotape at all. Videotape. Well, this has become a very interesting chore. Not my first time, but uh, this has been fun and way drug out. So I finally got the roast on the smoker about an hour and a half late, but I am going somewhere that has electricity so we can finish it off in the oven. Uh, at these temps, normally a three pound roast would take me somewhere in the neighborhood of eight hours to smoke. We've got, uh, looks like, is it about, 16 degrees outside and I'm lucky to hit it looks like about a buck and a quarter here but I've got the roast way over in this corner and I've got a pretty good smoke going and all I'm trying to do right now is get some flavor into that meat before we finish it off in the oven and now my camera's fogging up imagine that So we're out on the river road now and I'm headed south. <clears throat> I've got about five miles to go, five and a half miles down to a buddy's place. So the idea behind this whole thing here is, well, first of all, keeping the camera propped up on the dash. Secondly, we're headed to a buddy's place. Uh, he lives in a yurt. Oh, there we go. I got the camera. Uh, he lives in a yurt. He's got electricity, but he doesn't have running water. He still uses an outhouse. Uh, pretty self-sufficient like me, minus the electricity part. So, like I said, I've got about five and a half miles to go, and I gotta make a quick stop at the gas station to grab some beers. So, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, I just turned a corner to the gate, and I think last year I saw that gate and stopped and backed up, because even though I am local, I don't want to get up in somebody's driveway they didn't want me there but I think I'm on the right track much easier to find in the winter uh, all these deciduous trees had leaves on them last year and so I struggled to even see this thing but he swore I could see it from the road and I didn't so I've made it here in one shot proud of myself hold on to your horses oh well, you got some skis up there never told me anything about that but we are coming up on the yurt oh a little sideways there and it looks like, quite possibly, they're out here working in this shit. Looks like he and his boy are probably doing some firewood. Getting some firewood up to the yurt. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna get some winds here. Oh, down I drop again. Oh yeah, we're rocking. Oh, down I go. There they are. Working on the firewood. 
And there's the yurt. Now I'm stationary for now. So I thought the winds were bad at my place, and boy, it's really showing up here. Oh, shit blowing in, in my face. I got uh, Josh and Dylan have already got in the truck, loaded up with firewood, and they're gonna start bringing it inside. Got the roast in there. And apparently Josh has got a uh, bottle of schnapps over here I need to hit off of. But it's cold. Uh, we're, we're guessing like minus 10, minus 15 on the wind chill. Yeah, 15, you think? at least, yeah. And especially out here. So yeah. he went for a ride last night in his yurt and I forgot all about the fact it's basically a tarp house. And it's 10 feet off the ground, but it doesn't have solid walls. I mean, they're structural, but they're not solid. So he was getting beat to death in here. It racks around. I can only imagine. Blah, 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 you know, it flaps, man. You hear it, you... Right in the middle of trying to sleep. Son of a bitch moves, man. Got a couple of dogs here. We got Rusty and Smoke. They don't care. Of course, let's take a hit off of that. Snops. Just because it's due. Fortification is necessary in this. <laughs> Damn. Gotta have something out here, mm. man. Hey, the boys are getting started. And I'm just doing nothing but freezing my ass off. So this is your assembly line? This is the assembly line, you know. It's, when they get to be about that old, 12 years old, man, they gotta start working. Daddy's blowing Isn't up. Isn't that great? Why don't the dogs have an armful? Huh, Smoke? Get down here and help. That's all you can ask a dog just not to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> get in the way. Free room and board. <laughs> Board. You gotta love them though. You know, they do their job, they keep everything out of here. Yeah, well, I'm thinking I'll probably hang up this camera here shortly and help you guys get that in. No, 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 don't you worry about it. This is his job, you don't need to help. Yeah, but it's colder for me just standing here. Either that. A little, uh, little Subaru like that. Yeah, it beats the hell out of that gas mileage. Oh, man. So we got a couple of arm loads left here. Yeah. I'm helping out. Weather's getting nasty. Liable to blow my phone over here. Right now we're inside the yurt. Well, at least I am. Uh, the boys are out working on firewood. And I can't remember exactly how many square feet this thing is, but or round feet, but it's huge. It's like Got to be in the neighborhood of 1300 and he's got it set up very well and you know in fact he had some very awesome music going on but then i remembered that youtube censors music copyrighted we got dylan bringing in firewood how long does this last dylan a few days or a week But, every but it's cold. Yeah. So it might take more. Yeah. Like usually we turn on the pellet stove over there and it... Boy, shut that door. Oh, that's right. You've got electricity. Yep. I heard, boy, shut that door. Well, Dylan's not concerned about that. He's concerned about the video we're making here. So Josh said it only gets to, you know, a high of 70 in here even on a cold day like this. And uh, my cabin's way warmer, but talk about spacious. I'll do a better tour later. But look at that skylight with a, I don't know, 25 foot stove pipe. And listen to the wind. Another round coming in for Dylan. What do you think, Smoke? <whistles> Puppy dog. Smoke! Come here, buddy. What are you doing? Aren't you a handsome boy? Aren't you? Oh, you are. Are you comfy cozy? Hey, Smoke, can you sit? Oh, you are a good dog. Look at that handsome dog. Okay, so I've got yurt man Josh trying out my new trigger job, my SP-101. He's shooting 38 specials. 
but I think he's really gonna like this thing. That's it. Five of them. Doesn't that squeeze nice? Yeah, it does squeeze nice. That's a good gun. It is a good gun. That's a good gun. Okay, so Dylan's all set up with these 22 quiets, and now he's going to take his safety off and he's going to take a shot. Hey, <laughs> you hear that hit? Okay, so now each time, yep, go ahead and rack it hard. Yep, okay, good job. Oh. Hit it hard, yep, let it go. So you're going to have to basically manually beat the machine. Oh, and yeah, and he's hitting them, and they're hitting hard. And the neighbors don't know you're shooting. Listen to that thing hit. Pelly gun. It is. You're throwing a football at something. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like a pelly gun, huh? Uh-huh. Boy, that is quiet. I left you. I'll leave you 45 rounds or whatever. That is it's amazing. Suppressed. Dude. So suppressed. It is suppressed. It is suppressed. Yeah. Legally. But of course, we're in Idaho, so it's legal anyways. I don't know what that means. Listen to those hits. They're hitting hard. Those 40s hit hard. Well, you're pecking them off, son. That's it. Okay, so. So proud of this kid. He's 12 years old and he's shooting a AR-10. Safety off. Look through the scope, find your target. Squeeze the trigger, hold it tight, let it go. <laughs> Atta boy. Okay, keep your finger off the trigger. Every yep, yeah, just like that. Every every time you take a shot, you get your finger off the trigger. Nice. Atta boy. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Good job on your finger control. <laughs> that thing's kicking his ass and I love it. But he's not letting it win. And yes, folks, we are using a microwave oven and a conventional oven. Oh, man. <laughs> we had to do it. Dude, you just blew my cover. Got the roast done. I got electricity, folks. Yeah, he does. That's right. You got electricity. But he's still got to run out to the outhouse. Yes. <laughs> so the roast is done, and it is, what do they call that? Uh, resting. Resting. The roast is Breathing. resting. Yeah. All right, now we're recording. And we're going to cut into this elk roast here. And you got to get me on camera. And you know what? She's a little bit overdone. No, actually, that's pretty medium. Nice looking chunk of smoked meat there. Sure is. Josh can't even wait to freaking get the food on the plate. I can't wait, dude. It's so good. Look at that, dude. It's like prime. It is prime. I have prime rib. So thank 
So we're trying to have supper here and our food's getting cold because we got a stuck dog. Smoke! <laughs> Come no. on. No. And you get, get away. <laughs> we got a we yeah. got a dog that's not stuck that wants food and we got poor smoke. Smoke, come on, buddy. <laughs> Will you only just dig you out of there? Smokes. Come on. Rusty, come here. Rusty. He'll eat it. He doesn't care if he's stuck. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> You're a dick, Rusty. <laughs> You're gonna on. dig him out. What do you want me to do? You're gonna bite me, dude. <laughs> Let me get him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, good boy, Smokes. He, he wasn't stuck after all. Come on. Smokes. He's all scared. What's going on? He's oh, like, come here. Come here. Come here. You want some meat? You want some meat? No. You're gonna feed him my entire. So the three of us and the golden retriever are just now sitting down to supper and I'd love to have the music involved, but unfortunately YouTube won't let us. So we're going to sit down and eat our smoke elk roast and mat or uh, baked potatoes, apparently some salt, apparently some pepper <laughs> and some baked beans. One bagging dog, and we got the other one yeah. hidden in the corner. <laughs> one time in the corner, go for a shooting gun. <laughs> it is funny over there. <laughs> that meat flavor is phenomenal. I'm, I'm like a scientist. <laughs> I can taste that smoke. Mm -hmm. Smoke like. Isn't that great? Oh, and we got, oh, no, we still got a hidden dog. Why don't you come over here, Smoke? Oh, he's mad because he keeps talking about Smoke. <laughs> he just loses mm. his ass, fine. Mm. He gets confused because he keeps saying Smoke. Mm-hmm, that's right. He think he's next. Mm-hmm. Flavor's oh, great. A lot of